Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. In this video, we will be replacing the front brakes on a 2015 Subaru Forester. If you need these parts or other parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1aauto.com. I'm going to take this tire off. Uh, before I lift it up off the ground, I'm going to break the lug nuts free. Uh, I'm going to use a 19 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. Break them loose. All right, get the tire up in the air, and then I can take the lug nuts off. Pull the tire off. Now I'm going to take these two caliper bolts off. I'm going to use a 14 millimeter wrench. Before I loosen this one up all the way, I'll loosen the top one. Just like that. Take these both out. All right, so we're going to pull this caliper off. I can take a flat blade screwdriver and just pry in here a little bit. I'm going to pull out to compress the piston a little, and then we can pull the caliper off, just like that. We're going to use a bungee cord to hold it up. Go through the caliper hole, and then over here. That, that'll keep the pressure off the brake line. We'll just set that out of the way. All right, now we're gonna take out the pads. Uh, sometimes you need a screwdriver to pry them out a little bit. Pull that pad out. Then we'll pull the inboard pad out. Next, we're gonna take these caliper bracket bolts out. Uh, they're 17 millimeter, so I'm gonna use a 17 millimeter socket and a ratchet. We'll take these out. For the top one, I had to use a wrench because the socket would not fit in this area because it was hitting the strut bolt. Right, so I'll take the bottom bolt out. This would be easier if you had a uh, ratchet wrench to get the top one out because you'd fit it in there better. Pull that bolt out and pull the bottom one out. Now we can pull the bracket right off the rotor. So to get the rotor separated from the hub, um, what we can do is we can take a hammer and hit right around in these areas. We actually sell this hammer at 1aauto.com. Um, but in addition to that, there's these two little screw holes that you can thread some bolts. You'll have to find some bolts that fit. Oops. So we'll Thread this bolt here and thread this bolt here. I'll take a ratchet. I'm just going to snug these up a little bit. I'm not going to put too much pressure on them. Just wait till it gets snug. Just put a little bit of pressure on and then we'll do this the same to this one. 
And then I can just take my hammer and give it a tap. If I have to, I can tighten this up some more. And it's pulling the rotor right up. Just like that. And the rotor comes off. Right, we're going to clean this caliper bracket up. You can take a wire brush, just go like this. Clean up the pad slides. You can use a smaller wire brush to get in there a little better. Get some of the rust and corrosion out of here. We can take this pad slide off, use a screwdriver. Pull that off. There's a little bit of rust and corrosion under here. Just take the wire brush, clean this area. Take the smaller wire brush and get right in there. On the back of the pad guide, we can just clean this a little bit. This isn't that bad, so just wipe it a little bit. Just give it a little, get a little of the rust off. And we can reinstall this and do the same for the other side. We're gonna pull these caliper guide pins out. Pull that out. I'm gonna spray it down with a little brake parts cleaner and use a rag and wipe it down. Before we put it back, we're going to spray some uh, brake parts cleaner into the caliper bracket. Clean this out a little bit. Clean that out. We're going to take some caliper grease, brake caliper grease. Put it on the pin, and then we can put the pin back in. Make sure the boot goes over the pin, just like that. And we'll do the same for the other side. All right, so before we put our rotor on, we're gonna wanna take a wire brush or some sandpaper and clean this hub surface up. There's a lot of rust and corrosion on here. Take a smaller wire brush and get in here. I'm just going to install the rotor backwards for a second. So I'm going to spray the back side of the rotor with some brake parts cleaner and wipe it down with a rag. There's a coating on the rotors um, so that it does not corrode while it's sitting on the shelf. So now we'll flip it around. Then we'll spray this side of the rotor and wipe it down. Next we can install our caliper bracket and slide it over the rotor. And then with our bolts, we're gonna slide them in the back side. We're going to torque these caliper bracket bolts 
Um, I'm going to use a 17 millimeter socket and an extension with a torque wrench. Uh, we sell this torque wrench at 1AAuto.com. Uh, the reason for the extension is I can't get in there because of the strut bolts. So, and we're going to torque these to 59 foot pounds. Good. For the bottom one, I'll take the extension off. And they're good. All right, so we're going to take a little bit of brake grease and put it on the ends of these brake pads on this side, this side. Same on this side, get on there. Do not get the grease on the pad friction material. All right, so we'll start with the outside. Put this one down. All right, so this little tab is gonna come out a little bit. That's gonna ride right along here. So push that right there. And then going to slide in there. Right like that. So that pushes on the outside. Now we'll take our bungee cord off the caliper. Set that aside. Take our caliper, flip it upside down here. A little bit of rust in there, shake that up. I'll take the old, one of the old brake pads, slip it right here, and I can use a caliper compressing tool. Um, you can buy these at 1AAuto.com. This is only a single piston caliper tool, but uh, if you use the brake pad, we can alternate back and forth to get it to go down. Just slowly compress the caliper. You could also use some channel lock pliers or a um, C-clamp to get these to compress. Right, now the caliper is compressed all the way. Pull this brake pad off. And make sure that the, the hose is not twisted the wrong way. Can slide the caliper back onto the bracket. Now we can reinstall the caliper bolts. Bottom one and the top one. All right. I'm going to use some small locking pliers to prevent the caliper guide pin from spinning. And I'm going to use a 14 millimeter socket and a torque wrench. And I'm going to torque these bolts to 20 foot pounds. And I'll do the same for the bottom. Use some locking pliers on this guide pin. I'm going to put the tire up. Put the lug nuts on. I'll just snug these up by hand before I lower the vehicle. All right, so I'm going to use a 19 millimeter socket and a torque wrench. I'm going to torque these lugs down to 89 foot pounds. 
and I'm going to do it in a star pattern so that the wheel gets torqued down evenly. All right, before we um, take the vehicle and take it for a ride, we're going to want to pump the brake pedal because what's happening is there's an air gap between the brake caliper piston and the brake pad. So when we pump the pedal, that's pushing fluid back down to the calipers and getting rid of that air gap. And the brake pedal, once the brake pedal feels good, then you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.